under, under, under. Her Roman is what you're fighting against. You keep changing. Oh my god! Testing sound. One, two! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie Ina. Today we're gonna be doing a full face of Maybelline because honestly I feel like out of all of the drugstore brands, Maybelline for me has always been pretty top tier. However, I feel like we've been kind of missing a lot of launches. It's, it's been a little quiet, no back talk for Maybelline. So I just figured, let's just see what's new. Head to the store, see if there's anything I've missed. Today's video is also gonna be done in partnership with Vesca. That's the only, the only non-Maybelline product that I'm gonna be using in today's video, and it's a bronzer. And because Maybelline doesn't even have bronzers that I, you know, would be able to use anyway, like it's kind of a great filler product. Today we're gonna be going on location, live in the wild, with masks, of course. Wear a mask. Were your mask. To a drugstore to check out the Maybelline section, see if there's anything new, see if there's anything I missed. I'm gonna show you some of that footage. I'm gonna come right back and get straight to the application. Where are we going? Good morning. So we're going to Target because I have been slacking on perusing through the drugstore beauty section lately. I wanna see if there's anything from Maybelline. I wanna see if they've dropped any heat that maybe I just have not been privy to or been in touch with. And I kind of feel like if this one Target is not really saying something, I'm willing to go the distance and go to another Target just to, you know, really scope out and see. I definitely want to see more complexion for Maybelline, but also at the same time, like, I, I work with Maybelline, like, I'm, I'm on their PR list, so I would imagine if they have launched anything new, I would already have it, but I haven't seen anything, you know, maybe sometimes they don't always send out every single thing they launch, so I'm just interested to see if there is any new complexion, any new concealers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Girl, Maybelline is not giving what it's supposed to be gave. Like, this is all the same stuff I've been had. Have you seen this before? Yeah, but not in a, not that big. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be the foundation of this. Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. Oh, you know what you should try? What? These glosses are popular on TikTok right now for being like Fenty dupes. Oh. Yeah. I've been Oh you you were already me, on it? Me? Me? I've been new. Okay. Oh. I first tried these when you dropped. So oh. I did the video dropping those. Then maybe that's they're where fire. I got it from. They're fire. <laughs> they definitely tried it, trying to come for Fenty though. I actually feel like these are kind of coming more for like KKW though. Because the branding. The component is giving Fenty. Nah, this is definitely giving no because Fenty is like an octagon. Remember but the like, color scheme and everything, even the shape. That's KKW, don't you think? Oh, it kind of is actually. Lip, that's what her look um glasses look like. And her lipsticks. Hmm. Don't call for Fenty and let their sense of Wow, remember the history behind that palette? That was like the palette. Of the century. And I don't see any new translucent powders. Like, I have all of these. I mean, it's nice that they expanded, but I don't really see nothing new here. Same pressed powders, same concealers, same primers. Wait, do I have any of these? Get some of these. Do they have any blush? That's what I was looking for. Actually, why doesn't Maybelline have blush? That's very strange to me. It is very strange to me. Now, I feel like as far as the lipstick goes, like the cream lipsticks, I already have all of these, but I kind of want to get some new colors. Like, okay, so they have like a face that corresponds with each shade. Okay, innovation. I'm like bored, like I'm not getting innovation. Giving the Maybelline I saw in high school. It's very much giving the Maybelline. And Maybelline, like you got to compete with these indie brands. Like where's the new tea? I mean, besides the glasses, the glasses are fine. We can't wear glasses. We got masks. We only have so many eyelashes. <laughs> look at how many, look how much masks. No, have. they they have. Just as much they, mascara as they have complexion. No, but they they really, they really make points with their mascara. Like Maybelline oh, no. makes some of my no, all time Gloria, favorite. No, Gloria, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Please. Don't do this, don't don't go toe to toe because I'll. Maybelline is not saying this No, 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 don't go to toe. Don't go toe to toe with me with this. Actually, because you're the eyelash girl, so I thank you. literally Thank can. you, okay, thank fine. you. Actually, fine. you can't I even. Literally, don't compare where you can't compete, <laughs> Hope I don't have these at home. I kind of feel like I might as well get this one. Hopefully, it actually, oh, oh, <laughs> whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I will say though, CoverGirl concealers, bomb. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I just picked up a couple of the foundations that I haven't tried yet, I was surprised to not see the Super Stay Stick Foundation, but it's cool because I already have that at home. Yeah, this is the stick. The stick is actually really good. I picked up some more Fit Me Concealers. Well, Maybelline, looks like you tapped out. I tapped in, you tapped out. I think that's just about all we've got. Let's head home and put it into action. Oh. 
Oh my god. This is all of what we're trying. I got a lot of brow products. Okay, so we just got back from our visit. Very underwhelmed from the complexion section. Maybelline used to be where it's at for complexion and they just really haven't innovated recently. I Maybe a couple times out of the year for them. Maybe, maybe that's frequent enough, I'm not sure. But I just feel like I'm always getting new lipsticks. I'm always getting new lip innovation, new lip products, design styles, blah, blah, blah. And complexion is kind of taking a back seat, a little, a little disappointed. Maybelline, Maybelline girl, have we fell off a little bit? Okay, but these glosses though. These glosses though, I'm definitely gonna be using these. I also picked up some complexion stuff that has been out for a while that I just haven't tried yet. Urban Dream Cover, Dream Radiant Liquid, and the Dream Matte series was actually like the first ever foundation that I used when I first started using, when I first started wearing makeup. So that was a little nostalgic for me. I'm gonna start off by priming. I have the Master Prime in Blur and Smooth. I also have the Blur and Pore Minimize. Let me just feel and swatch the textures of both to see which one I'll be using today. Thought I was the most excited about complexion, but because these products have already been out for a while, I don't really know if I'm ready to stand just yet, but we'll see as we get in later on the video. I mean, there's pretty much not a single Maybelline foundation that I don't really love, except for Fit Me, the original formula. The first initial thoughts, Blur and Smooth is giving really tacky, almost kind of gripping and sticky. And the Blur and Pore Minimizer is kind of like that silicone whipped, blurry feeling it de oh definitely blurs that looks really really good what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go with blur and smooth because i have faith in this one it does look a little ashy though it definitely oh wow oh that feels really really good on the skin it definitely smooth so let's give a good glob of that starting at the center okay this feels really good oh, that's what i'm that's what i'm saying and is it gonna give me a white cast girl don't have me looking like this after Halloween, child, I mean, a month ago, maybe it would have been fine. That feels good. That kind of feels like skincare. It's soft to touch. It's a little on the silky side. Oh, by the way, um, Maybelline, why are we getting skincare? When, when are we, if you want to innovate, I really think Maybelline should give us skincare. I'm just gonna be very honest. Maybelline's eyeshadows are just, they're not my favorite. I don't hate them. With Maybelline eyeshadows, it's like cute next to gorgeous. Gorgeous is gonna devour cute, you know what I mean? Like once you've been exposed, something else. I mean like, your services are done here. I'm gonna try to make this Nudes of New York, which honestly actually really, like I actually like this color scheme. I think the color selection is really pretty. For me, it's just been like the quality. I struggle with getting them to like show up on my skin tone in a way that like actually looks flattering. I'm gonna take the Super Stay Concealer. This is my first time trying it. I'm gonna use it as a base today because if I don't like it, then I won't put it under my eyes. So I'm blending that out on to my lid. My expectations are very low with this palette because I already feel like we've been down this road before. I already know what to expect. I'm gonna take a little bit of Villager, which is this warm reddish brown color here. And I'm gonna, okay, okay color. I'm gonna take that, blend that into my outer V and my crease area. Okay, so far the color payoff of Voyager isn't that bad. And I'm gonna even go out on the limb and say, I do think adding translucent powder onto my eyelid helped 20 million times more. It definitely helped enhance that color payoff because I see it on my skin tone and that's always a good thing. Yeah, girl, this one's not bad. Let me find out Maybelline might have done a reformulation. This is definitely applying better than what I'm used to from the shadows. The real test though is whether or not once we try to add, I'm gonna take a little bit of dab dabs of cell starter and I'm gonna start softening up that crease area and blending it out. Okay, I actually am not mad at that yet. It's blending out so nicely. You think so? Okay, girl. And also the shadows don't look super like powdery. Yeah, like Maybelline. Like drugstore matte look like super powdery. Mm -hmm. Maybelline's old formula used to be like borderline chalky. Some of their shadows were definitely workable. It's like, okay, I can make this work if I have to, but why should I? Why should I when there's ColourPop and Pat McGrath? And ColourPop guy has she too, no shade though. Oh, it's giving what needed to be cave. Yeah, she deserved her refund. 
What are you talking about? Exactly. Exactly. So I'm gonna also take a little bit of Glow Trotter and put her right in the innermost part of my crease. Y'all, like this was actually the most surprising part of this tutorial. I know it just started, but that's beside the point. Really expected an automatic flop and I'm not really getting that just yet. Okay, so I'm gonna take Protector. I don't know why they called it that color, girl. No, I'm gonna take Explorer. Okay, so Explorer. Explorer is this matte pink shade here. Ooh, matches my nails. I'm gonna take Explorer. There's actually a bit of brown in that. It's a, yeah, it's like a light brown pink. And I'm gonna pop that onto my lid. I'm not mad at that either. But you know what? Just to say we did it, let's put protector on top to make this a little more neutral. Okay, so, okay, so the colors are blending nicely in the crease. Check. The lid colors, not mad at those either. Check. Come on, Maybelline. You better prove me wrong. I actually really do like when I go into a review with expectations in hell. The bar literally be below the earth's core and I end up surprised. Like, this actually was not bad at all. I bought this brown Tattoo Studio liner. Y'all know how I feel about brown liner. I live for some dark brown liner, child. Especially for like soft glam, daytime looks. That's another thing I can always bet on with Maybelline is like liners. Like I just don't feel like you have to pay a lot of money for liquid liners, pencil liners. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some dark brown liner super, super close to my lash line and because I'm wearing falsies, I like using this as a smudgy little way to make the lash line look thicker. Don't think about me, I'm gonna give you a look that you're actually gonna wear. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, this is really pink and this reminds me a lot of my soft glam look that I do pretty much all the time. So I'm gonna take a little bit of heroin, which is heroin. No, it's heroin. Girl, heroin is a drug. Yeah, it's heroin. I'm gonna YouTube it. Thank you, it's heroin. Barack Obama said it, it's heroin. Heroin has an E at the end. He said heroin. Yeah, heroin. He didn't say heroin, he said heroin. The drug is Heroin is what you're fighting against. You keep changing. That word is canceled anyway. Heroin. It's this pretty much beige color here. I'm gonna put a little bit of that to just kind of like neutralize it a little bit. Ooh, that gives us a really pretty depth. Okay, this is kind of giving expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's looking very elevated in Lux. I'm gonna take dark coffee from the Fit Me Concealer. Oh, how full is it? I need to set my primer with powder, sorry. This is just something that I always do, I'm always gonna do, even if I don't do it on camera. Nine times out of 10, I probably did it, you just didn't notice it. It's actually really funny, whenever I do a tutorial and people are like, wait, you don't do that anymore? Do I have to not do that? It's like, no, 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 no. Some things are just redundant and repetitive. I don't necessarily always do the same steps in my videos all the time, and that does not mean you have to like impulsively jump to do it the same way that I do all the time. Do you get what I mean? I just like doing what I like to do. And that's all I gotta say about that. I did an Instagram reel and I had put on like blush as the very first step. And I did this really cool thing where I literally did kind of like my makeup backwards because I started with blush and I did complexion. And everybody was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just learned how to do it the, the old way. I just learned. And I'm just like, that's fine girl, keep doing it. You don't gotta, <laughs> it's actually really gotta keep though. But yeah, if you don't see me do something in a video, I either did not feel like doing it that way and that's fine too. There's no right or wrong or I probably did it off camera. Even though I am using a cream contour, this is really just for the depth. I'm not actually trying to like sculpt the face. We just wanna put the natural shadows back in the face, but we're still gonna top it off with bronzer. I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath brush before this dries and blend this out. One day somebody needs to do an expose about my lace. Have any of y'all seen those series of videos on Vogue where they like look back at their iconic looks? I wonder when I'm gonna get to the point in my career where I look back at some of the wigs I wore. <laughs> However, don't judge, because I was doing the best I could with what I had, okay? Wigs were expensive. And I did a lot of the guinea pig work of wearing lace wigs, because I was wearing wigs way before anybody else was checking for wigs. I'm just saying. I walked so the rest of y'all could run, and that's on period. Wig technology was just not readily available back then. It really was not. We were really doing the best we could. We really were. I mean, this was back in the day when y'all said RPG show was expensive, and now look at Alonzo Arnold and Virgin Hair Fantasy and Arrogant Tay, like, do you think RPG show is expensive now? 
Lace wigs have definitely come a long way, just like my makeup skills, but it's fine. Okay, that actually contoured really, really nicely, and I thought it was gonna dry down super fast, but I really like the color. First time trier of the Superstay concealers. This is something that I've had in my kit for quite some time now. I don't know why I just was not moved to try these, but I'm gonna do that today. The shade that I have is, I have one shade that's honey. I'm expecting this to be very, very light. It looks light, just as I thought. Light. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this as kind of like a little highlight and notice how I didn't add a lot of product. I don't really know what to expect with this concealer, so I really don't wanna go ham and then it ends up looking crazy. Concealer will literally make or break a look. So the other two shades that I have in addition to Honey, which is what I already have on now, I have Olive and then I also have Tan. I'm not mad at that color. It looks golden, a little bit golden olivey, which is a lot of times very hard to find at the drugstore. They always wanna make things orange and they still always wanna make things red. Yes, a lot of drugstore brands are still doing that and they need to stop. This is definitely looking so far like a somewhat light medium coverage. What does it say on the packaging? So it says full coverage. I know there's levels of full coverage, but I don't really want to call this full coverage. It's it's a little transparent for me, but the coverage isn't bad though. I will definitely say it, it looks decent. No, I see it. I definitely see the difference. Oh, I see it right under the eye. Mm -hmm. But not on the cheeks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would use this concealer again. I feel like it gives the illusion of fuller coverage because of the texture, but the actual finish, I don't know. Better, but still not what I would look for in a concealer personally for me. I don't think there's enough like blurring and smoothing in there. And isn't Superstay supposed to be like their full coverage line? Like where everything is like super flawless and beat for the gods? I just don't know if she gives this. Do I wanna go Urban Cover or Dream Radiant? Urban Cover. It says it's full coverage makeup, broad spectrum SPF 50. Why are we still putting SPF 50 in our foundations? Are we really looking for sun protection from our foundations? Like that's what SPF, actual SPF is for. Let me shake this up because she's feeling a little watery. The color that I have is Cafe Ole number 348. It is important to note that there was only one more darker color after this, I believe from what I remember. Unacceptable, downright unacceptable. I don't even have a summer color. Maybelline, what time is it? And like I said, this is my first time trying this, so let's just go right in. This is the, oh my God. Why does it smell like that? This is the Dream Urban Cover in the color Cafe Ole. Ooh. First, first, like immediately right when I put it on, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too, too fiery, a little too red, but it's not bad, you know? My skin's been clearing up, so I don't really need, or at least I'm not looking for a ton of coverage, and that covered up pretty good. Now, however, the more that I go over it with my brush, it starts to lift, and some of the coverage starts to disappear, so let me like not blend too much, but that's really pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more and see if that does the trick. That definitely helped. But even without the extra coverage, like I did like the way that it looked. I thought it looked really pretty as is. Back to where sponsors, guys. So the Vesca Powder Bronzer, I've been using these a couple times in some of my past videos. I kind of go back and forth between a couple shades, depending on what season it is, what vibe I want. Sometimes I use Kiss by Bali if I'm a little bit more tan in the summer. Kiss by Maldives is a little bit closer to what my complexion looks like now. I am definitely my winter shade because like my foundations have been a little bit darker. <laughs> Tad lately. Kiss by Cabo is kind of like a really pretty, when I wanna look a little bit more, like actually bronze shade. It's got a little bit more red in it. It's definitely got more warm. These bronzers smell good. They have like this kind of coconutty smell, like almost almond, like an almond coconut. These are 30 US Zolas. I'm gonna go ahead and use Kiss by Maldives. These bronzers retail for 30 US Zolas as usual. I'll have links down below to where you can find They're super easy to blend. And like I said, because Maybelline, you haven't given the girls a bronzer yet. Not that I know of, have I missed it? So I thought this would be the perfect tutorial to use these bronzers in again, because I would have literally just had to have contoured with cream products only with this Maybelline video, because that's all they have. Drugstore in general has just been abandoning bronzers. I don't really know why the drugstores always abandon bronzers. Is it just like not a popular enough product? I don't really get that, because bronzers are super popular otherwise. Expensive to formulate, like. Can you let me know what time it is, please? Cause I sure was rushing to come out with contour palettes. I know that's for sure. These come in seven shades, by the way, and there's literally a color for everyone. 
from the lightest of light to the deepest dark. They ship to the US and Canada, and if you want a link on where you can purchase these Vesca bronzers, as usual, because I'm just that chick, I'm gonna give you a link down below in the description box, so go ahead and check those out. I'm gonna take medium deep in the Fit Me Powder Maybelline. I know that it probably took a lot of money, innovation, time, research into making the Fit Me Powders, but I need more, okay? I don't need more colors. Like, I would love to see just more range more different powder formulas. I have a lot of new brow products. And this is an actual favorite of mine. This is the Brow Ultra Slim. I think this is one of the better brow products in the drugstore, period. Definitely could eat at the same table of some of my higher end, more luxury brow products. Because let me tell you something, when it comes to brows, I'm really picky. Okay, so I just shaved my brow, but I really like this product, so y'all already knew the tea on that. The Brow Pomade, on the other hand, is a newer product for me, I think. I'm gonna take the shade Deep Brown, and this is a cream pomade. I do like an ashier brow, slightly ashier brow, but this does look a little on the gray side so far. But I think I can work with it. These pomades, you make one wrong move and it's over. Plus, I don't want my brows looking like cream caterpillars. Like, I want movement, you know what I mean? Like, I want depth. This isn't bad, this kind of dries down to like a matte texture because this is such a heavier cream product like it's setting my brow hairs into place i have brow fast sculpt which looks like it, it's clear it's clear i do like fit me powder like i think it's pretty good but the one thing that i always forget about this powder is like once you put it on she kind of sticks like she don't really be moving and you can see that from the train track going down my nose. Like, this is not concealer. That's all from the powder. It would just be nice to see something. Maybe a little bit more delicate? Maybe, Maybe it's Maybelline. Okay, so now I'm putting a little bit of heroin in the inner corner of my eye. That's not enough color though. Like, mm, I'll use Inspire. I'll use a little bit of this color. I'm gonna add mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and use my lash stiletto for my lashes. I've already put on falsies, so I'm just gonna coat my lashes. They're not making mascaras like this anymore. They just not. And I've always said this, and I still feel the same way. I think that mascara is the one thing that you don't necessarily have to splurge on. Okay, so now we're gonna finish this out with lips. A part of me, truthfully, really does not care about this product. I'm not gonna lie. It is the Superstay Ink Crayon. Yeah. I mean, I just don't care. I don't care. Not I don't care as in I wouldn't try this product. It's going on like a traditional cream lipstick, but like in a stick form. It's just shaped differently. Ooh, they smell really good. They smell like melons. Ooh, that smells really good. However, I'm definitely on a Superstay Matte Ink. I love these. They're not really a liquid lipstick, but they're not a regular lipstick either. Okay, so I went and grabbed some of the colors that I have. I have the shade Driver. I also have the shade Amazonian. I don't think Amazon, no, Amazonian is too light. Nope. Ooh, ooh. It's really pretty though. Wait a minute, hear me out though, hear me out. Ooh, that's a really pretty burnt orange. And these smell so good. Okay, this is not matching the eye color, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a dark brown and line my lips. I just feel like this look would have really popped with like a matte dark brown lip and I've really been loving dark chocolatey browns lately. I grabbed Seductress instead cause I got that right over. And then to finish it off with the star of today's tutorial are the Lifter Glosses. They're made with hyaluronic acid. They smell insanely edible. Whatever this signature scent for all of the Maybelline lip products are, you deserve a Grammy. Everybody else was robbed this year, except whoever made these lip glosses. Cause honestly, every accolade you get, you deserve it. Arrays included. I have a bunch of shades of these and you know what? This could have been a really cute missed opportunity to do a glossy eye. Girl, don't play with me cause I'm thinking about it. I was gonna use this pink, but that's what I would use on a normal day. Instead, I'm gonna use ice. And ice is really light and it's also a little on the frosty side. Or is it like a little glitter? That does have a little bit of glitter in it. I think this is more clear than it is anything else. So let's just put it on. Yeah, this is basically, that's basically just a clear gloss, but you know what? That's fine. I ain't complaining about that either. Shine already. It's time already. This is the high shine gloss the girls have been asking for for centuries from not only drugstore brands, but high end brands as well. The shine is just untouchable. Cottage core realness. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I feel like I look like somebody's dinner cruise date right now. Like I'm just giving all kinds of sultry. Is it the hair? Is it the skill level? Is it the product? Maybe it's Maybelline, I don't know. I definitely went into this thinking this was gonna flop and it didn't. More than pleasantly surprised. 
I think that this palette is definitely for the person who has not really been a fan of Maybelline shadows before and just kind of didn't really care for them. This one might change your opinion. It's called their Nudes of New York palette. By the way, this is not the first time they've come out with a nude theme palette. I think they've done two previously. Remember when they collabed with Gigi Hadid? Whatever that was, this is way better. It's actually a little bit more color inclusive. These concealers, I just think were kind of meh. Don't love them, but also don't hate them. I feel like Instant Age Rewind is still that Shit. The foundation, not bad. I know I said everything that needed to be said earlier. I think the finish was actually beautiful. I, I'm not mad at the coverage. Like I think it's actually really pretty. I would definitely try this again. As far as the brow products, I think those were definitely, in addition to the eyeshadow palette, it was definitely the most standout product for me with everything that we tried today. So all in all, I kind of was expecting to see a lot of new things when we went to the store and we looked at the Maybelline display. I feel like instead of focusing on like giving out a bunch of new products, it seems like Maybelline is more focused on innovating what they already have. and. You you know what, I'm I'm okay with that, but still just the complexion snob in me just wants to always see more. But other than that, what I tried, I really, really loved. And oh, oh my God, how could I forget my lift your glasses? Fire, get as many of these as you can. Maybelline is one of the very few, if not the only drugstore makeup brand that I know of right now that I can literally shop every single category and get a full face of makeup and actually like the way that it would look, except for the bronzers work on that Maybelline, thanks. That's pretty much all I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and trying some new and old favorites from Maybelline. Once again, if you wanna check out the Vesca bronzers, they're gonna be linked down below as they usually are. And if you're bored or if you're on your second, third, fourth, or fifth wave of lockdown like we are here in LA, you can check out another video. I'm gonna link it right here and you're gonna watch it because you ain't got nothing else to do, right? Exactly, so click. Hurry up.